In Dimwraith, how does our spell system actually work? Well, let's find out. First things first, what type of spells do we actually want to support? If we look at most MOBA games, players have an expectation of being able to cast area of effect, single target, automatic self-cast, skill shots, toggle, and passive. I think early on I had a toggle spell, but we've since removed it from the game, and we're not currently using any passive spells, but most likely we will support them in the future. So let's break down how we integrate these different types of spells. The hardest part about creating a spell system is trying to make it in a way where the designer can actually come in and make spells for themselves. So what I ended up doing is creating a child class for each spell, which I call the spell settings, and then a separate child class for the spell prefab, which is the actualization of the spell that you see on the screen. Then I created a confluence page so that the designer can see all of the protected methods that he can use to create different spells. How these spells are represented can vary wildly. And so another helpful thing that I did was actually create prefabs for every type of spell that we talked about earlier. Now, fortunately for me, our designer is actually pretty good with code, and so he was able to meet me halfway on creating something that was flexible but still worked with design. In fact, even some of the artists took a stab at creating some spells. So that covers a lot of spells mechanically, but actually there's a larger classification of spells, and that is stat spells, class spells, and race spells. For stat spells, you actually need to raise your attributes to meet the minimum requirement for that spell, and every spell has its own particular attribute requirement. Now, how you upgrade your attributes largely depends on the race and class that you pick, because those factors determine the scaling cost. So if you pick Fairy Magician, you probably won't be getting spells that require a lot of physique. Now, class spells, exactly as they sound, are specifically for the class that you choose, but they can still have an attribute requirement as well. Race spells are specific to the race that you choose, and those will actually have special race animations. I really wish I had some race spells to show, but because we're in the process of redoing all of the characters, those will have to be done later. A big part that I should mention that directly ties in with this is the skill tree, because upgrading your class and race spells will be options, but the specifics of that I will go over in a future devlog. Alright Joseph, so that must be it. Nope. If you actually look in the spell book, you'll notice that there is an experience bar for each spell. So what happens when you have a full bar of experience for a spell? Great question. We don't know, but at some point we'll knock our heads together and figure that one out. But wait, there's more! We actually, in an effort to make the runes more interesting, want to give each rune the ability to upgrade a specific spell, and that way players can get the right rune set that they need, but also try to upgrade specific spells for that rune set. And alas, I'm not making this up. The designer actually came to me today and wanted to make items be able to cast some spells. So just when you think it ends, it still gets crazier. Making the spell system was hard, but not as hard as getting you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. Initially, I really did not want to do the rework, but now we have a system that will expand and scale for the rest of the game's development. Okay, so I need to reset that. Ah! I got moved. Hit it with the bad, hit it with the configuration. Oh, nice job, everyone. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. my God. So if you guys like this video and the work that we're doing on the game, consider joining our Discord and being part of our community. Or check out our Steam page where you can wishlist and sign up for the playtest. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you all in the next one.